today I want to share with you my spring uh, room refresh makeover and I know that in a past video I shared with you some of the things that I purchased for this makeover and this time I want to actually share the makeover with you you guys when I tell you it was a task um, there are a few DIY projects that you'll see um, as I'm doing the makeover. Um, there was just a lot of little tedious things that needed to get done. Um, you'll also see in the video that this took place over the course of a few days. Hence, that's why the video is uh, coming up a couple of days later than it normally would um, because it just, it took, it wasn't a process that could happen in the course of one day. It took me quite a few days to do some of the things. So you'll see as I'm changing clothes throughout the video that this process was a little time consuming, um, but I'm happy with the end result. It's not a major, major change in the overall look of the room but it's a major change in some of the pieces to the room. So I wanna go ahead and tell you now some of the things that I did so that you can watch the makeover without me doing too much talking. I will do a little bit of explaining things in between. And I also wanted to say that the items that I can link in the description box, I will link them in there. Of course, the things that I shared with you in the last video, I won't go over everything because I've already done a video that explains a lot of the items that I've already purchased, but for things that I haven't, I will link them in the description box for you. The linens and things like that that I didn't show you in the last video. Um, but some of the projects that I did that you will see in the video, remember you guys, I told you that um, I wanted to um, uh, make over a few things in there. And so the things that I did that you will see are, I had these two silver vases that I absolutely love the look of them, but I wasn't in love with the color anymore. Um, they were silver and they were a little more glam than what I was going for in my bedroom and I wanted to just tone it down a little bit and so I ended up painting them a matte black and you guys when I tell you they turned out like I in my own personal just my own taste I love them in black more than I love them in the silver they turned out beautifully and um, I'm really really happy with those two um, pieces and then I also showed you guys the wooden frames that I picked up from the, the Target dollar spot. So I was able to do uh, a wall, a photo collage on the wall that's over the couch in my bedroom. And that turned out amazing. I was able to take away all of the silver frames that I had sitting on my dresser top before. And you guys will see all of this in the video, but I was able to take those pieces, take all of those photos down and then put them more uniformed in the wooden frames and it it looks so nice you guys it turned out really nicely another thing that i did in the room was i um painted the ceiling fan black <laughs> um it was white just your builder grade white ceiling fan and i do have a new ceiling fan picked out um it's one that i found on amazon and it's more like a fandelier and it's really really pretty and it's black and it has the wood tones to it and i really like it it's really really pretty but um i figured hey for now you know there's nothing wrong with the ceiling fan that i have i don't like wasting money and um so i just figured i would give it a a, re a makeover and and so I asked my husband when he thought he could take the ceiling fan down and let me paint it. I had already bought the spray paint and everything for it and only to find out that the ceiling fan was way, 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 way down on his list of things to do. And it just wasn't gonna get done in time for the room makeover and I knew I'm the kind of person that when I start I want to get it all done and I know that I it would have messed me up <laughs> so bad that little OCD that I have it would have messed me up so bad to have the fan still white and the room made over it would have made it seem like things were unfinished and I just knew that I wasn't going to be able to live with that so, me being me, I will ask, and if it can't get done, I will find a way to do it myself, and so I did, and I ended up taking a huge piece of cardboard up that we had um, in the garage, and I just held it up between the ceiling and the blades as I sprayed and made sure that was my buffer between the ceiling and the ceiling fan to make sure I didn't get any paint on the ceiling. 
the part that actually comes down from the ceiling. I ended up painting it by hand and I didn't cover, get any footage of me painting the ceiling fan, but you will see the ceiling, the finished product of it. But anyways, guys, I painted that ceiling fan with it still hanging from the ceiling and I think I did a pretty good job, but I'll let you see and be the judge of it. Um, let me see what else. Another thing that I did in the room, let me see. I told you about the vases. I changed the picture frames. I painted the ceiling fan. The biggest project in the room, you guys, that I'm so, so, so happy and excited about that I did was a total and complete um, makeover of the fireplace that I had in, in our room. You guys have seen it before in past videos. And that fireplace was, you know, I, I enjoy, I've had it for years, but it was a little on the smaller side. And for the wall that it was on, it just looked like it was more wall than it was fireplace. And I knew that I wanted the fireplace to just be larger and take up more of the space and so I found and I'll put a clip of my inspiration in here I found um, some fireplaces that I really like that had shelving on the sides and I thought to myself because you know I will come up with a way to make it happen and I thought wow all I need is two um, of the like cubby shelves with the three shelves in it and I can attach that to the fireplace put some molding around it and bam there you'll have it and so I started that process I already had the two cubbies so that cost me absolutely nothing all I had to do was buy the paint um, and the molding to go around the top and I just bought one large piece and then my husband cut it down um, for me to be able to attach to the to the um, to the cubbies to the top of it because the fireplace has molding um, at the top around it and so um, they needed to have molding as well but I already had the shelves and we weren't using them one was in the garage one was in my husband's man cave we weren't using them and so I took those and ended up um, putting on the molding and then I painted them and then my husband actually came up with the idea of instead of attaching it to the fireplace um, he was like why don't you just sit it beside them and make it look you know like it's one whole piece instead of attaching them in that way if you ever change out that fireplace and put it in one of the rooms where it requires for it to go back to its smaller size you don't have these two pieces pieces attached to it and then you don't you wouldn't have messed up the sides of it you know with with you know putting the nails in it or anything and so I thought that was a fabulous idea and that's exactly what I did and I'm telling you guys when you see it you, it, it looks like one piece it turned out really really nice and I was able to decorate it from the pieces from the Target dollar spot that I shared with you in the last video and so it all came together nicely I'm really excited I can't wait for you to see it and then the next thing that I think that's all of the DIY projects that I did and if I notice another one while I'm I think that was the bulk of the DIY projects that I had to do for the room and the fireplace was um, the largest project that I did but it's in the room it is my favorite another thing that you'll see in the makeover is the linen I didn't get to show you that in the video where I showed you all of the decor pieces that I would be using um, but the linen the linen can't talk the linen is absolutely beautiful um, if you don't look closely you might not see a difference in the before <laughs> how my bed looks versus the now but I love a fluffy nice comfortable get in it and melt in it bed and so I use several several blankets and um, and things in my bed and so I was able to buy a new bedspread and I was able to get um, a couple of new blankets for the bed and the piece that really brings the spring into it but allows me to have still that that neutral um, palette in my bedroom is the actual quilt that's on the very top and it's actually reversible and you'll see it in in the video um, you can do the darker taupe side um, where the flowers are on it are white or you can um, reverse it and do the white side where the flowers on it are taupe but I picked that comforter because it gave me still that natural palette but it had the flowers on it um, and they're not your typical flowers you will see but it gave me that print to bring in some spring to it um, and so anyways you guys I've talked for 10 minutes or so so let's get into the video and let you see 
<laughs> the room makeover. So let's go. And you guys, now let's take a look at the linens. I have all of these listed in the description box below.